Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Time No More. My name is Pal. I'm out here in the garden again today. I uh, just finished up some mowing and uh, I still had a little bit of time left. Not much energy, so I figured I'd do something that's a pretty easy thing to do. I wanted to uh, cut out some of the junk growing around the apple tree in the back here. It's really neglected as you can see. There's a couple of dead branches and stuff. I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm pretty sure this uh, apple tree will still produce a lot of fruit though because um, there was a ton of apples here from last year and uh, some of them looked quite healthy and nice and um, they were just never picked up. So uh, I think it's just a matter of kind of pruning it back, getting it nice and cleaned up. And one of the things I started doing is uh, cutting out all of these um, uh, trees. I don't know what these are called. I'm going to try to look up the name and put it in the description for you guys. It's got these brutal thorns on it. I think it's some kind of locust tree, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll try and get the name for you guys. But anyway, this stuff grows like weeds. I've seen uh, several properties um, back when my wife and I were looking at uh, places where this stuff was just growing up out of the lawn, like in neglected places. There was a big um, stick of it, you know, growing up over here. I cut that out. And then I started cutting out, um, you know, the one that's growing right here behind the current. You can see where I've kind of chopped out one of the, uh, you know, a couple of the branches. And I'm going to cut that out. There's more growing kind of in the back uh, here behind the apple tree over here. This was probably some kind of old compost bin or something. I don't know, I'll take that apart and move it at some point. But uh, you can see that there's a, you know, one of these um, growing up straight from there. It goes way up in there and you can see that it's been cut back a lot of times. These things just are really hard to get rid of. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and clean up. Here's another one growing by the pear tree over here. Uh, so you can see they just grow all over the place. And um, one of the things I was doing was uh, you know, cutting out from here and I noticed that the current had a broken branch and uh, I cut it off um, because it was already damaged but then I noticed it had such nice leaves and stuff at the end it even had some fruit on it that uh, I figured I may as well just stick it in the ground and see what happens because I think you can root these um, and uh, since I planted the onion here just yesterday this should be kind of a nice place because I'll keep watering this and uh, hopefully this won't dry out it's nice and shady back here most of the day and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see if this thing will take root. Um, yeah, we'll see. But uh, in either case, I'm gonna clean up this whole area. Um, these fruit trees are really neglected here. So uh, you can see, you know, something probably, you know, attacked this thing, maybe some kind of illness. I don't know, I'm gonna cut that off there where it's all dried out and dead. But uh, you know, there's definitely fruit on this tree already. So, uh, or at least um, the, the start of fruit. So we'll see. So there you go. Um, cut out a lot of uh, the dead branches and stuff, and also a lot of that, uh, you know, invasive tree, whatever it is, the aggressive growing spiky tree. Um, I'm actually going to keep those branches. I got a good tip from my brother um, a couple of years back when he was doing his garden. He had a lot of problem with cats. We had a lot of cats in our last uh, uh, garden. And uh, what you can do is take stuff like this or from... Um, you know, like rose hips or anything with like big spikes on them, like rose cuttings, stuff like that. And you can lay them across your vegetable beds and then the cats won't go through there because they don't like the, the barbs. Um, so that, that could be a good thing. I'm gonna keep these and just put them off to the side somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like now. Um, definitely still got a lot of cleaning up to do because uh, this is by no means looking good yet, but uh, at least it's a start and nothing's strangling the tree. I took down a lot of these creeper vines coming from the uh, the uh, neighbor's property in the back there and um, yeah got a lot a lot of work to do so that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed it see you next time